Charleston County looking at a potential way to help provide incentives to property owners so housing prices remain affordable for the people who live here. Ray Urena joins us live outside of the county building in North Charleston and Ray the county says they're taking inspiration from similar policies elsewhere around the state. Yeah, Roth, these policies are really already in place in places such as Greenville, Spartanburg, and Richland counties. And officials are looking to partner with the private sector in order to help keep the rent prices of housing here in the low country down. Now, specifically, the county says they are looking to reduce taxes for property owners by creating new financial incentives. The county's housing committee has directed staff to draw up a local law to partner with a neighboring county on this endeavor. Council member Jenny Honeycutt says the county is aware of an affordable housing need and they're working to determine what that looks like. She says partnering with the private sector to reduce their tax bill could prevent rents from going up, helping people like teachers and first responders to live where they work. Charleston is a very desirable place to live. So many people have moved here that it's caused housing prices to skyrocket in addition to inflation and all the other economic factors. Well, in an effort to try to keep those costs down, you have to provide some incentive to developers to build and either rent that housing at a cost most people can afford. Honeycutt says it will take about a month or two for staff to bring back a preliminary law that council will consider. Live in North Charleston, Ray Urena, Live 5 News.